Hello everyone, welcome. Um, gonna be reviewing another beer today, because that's apparently been getting a little bit of views, so, um, yeah, let's, let's get started. Remember to subscribe. Um, subscriptions have been getting better. Um, we're at about 20%, only not subscribed right now, so that's, that's really good. I'm really, uh, really happy with the results there. So, we have very special one. I've been eyeing this one just for the, the art. If you look at that little guy. This is the Dead Guy Ale by Rogue Brewing. It says, dedicated to the rogue in each of us on top. So, kind of neat. Um, once again, drink responsibly. Drink of age. I believe this one is a bit heavier on the six point like something side. 6.9 or something. Let me check. Um, 6.8. That was close. So yeah, without further ado, let's get to it. I had the bottle opener the wrong way. That's what it was. Okay. Woo -wee. All right. So apparently this comes off pretty strong from what I've heard. Oh. Yeah, that smells really... It's a smeller, definitely. It smells kind of floral. Tiny bit of malt, so I don't know if I'm going to like it, but... Screw it. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> okay. That always happens to me. Um, first impressions off that little sip. Ah, uh, it's it's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Um, definitely has. I don't think it is an IPA, but it has like kind of an IPA-ish taste. It's got it's got a lot of hops influence definitely in it. Hmm. It's it's just unique. Like it's I watched other reviews of it, and it, it hides that, like, higher content pretty well, actually. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. It's easy drinking, just because it's, like, straight up. There's not much to it. I mean, it's just solid. Like, it tastes like if a Bud Light was actually good. Um, it's, it's, I don't know. I really like this so far. I think this one is actually an Amber Ale, if I'm not mistaken. I need to look more into it. It's out of Ohio, from what I could tell. Um, but yeah, I just picked it up. Family Beer and Liquor, shout out East Dubuque, um, Illinois. So that's where I got them, but I think I've seen these these guys all around. They're from Oregon, so made it that far, you know. <laughs> More than halfway across the country, it must be pretty top seller. And I can really kind of see why. I mean, it just has a good taste to it. It's light, but at the same time kind of heavy. Like, it hits heavy. But it feels light, which I really like a lot. I don't know. It's definitely a strong one. I don't know if I like that or not, but... <laughs> um, definitely. Definitely just an interesting beer all around.
it's it's like playing with me because on one side I want to say it's like thick, but on the other side I want to say it's like thin. Like it's light, but just an ultimate like duality of things right now, which I think is kind of respectable. Also, apparently there's a legacy deck in Magic named after this, so uh, called like the Dead Guy ale deck or something um i don't know how it works i don't know what colors it is but like first thing that came up i put it in even before the beer um yeah no stuff's just kind of hmm like i mean i definitely like i got a six pack of it it's one that i think has a lot of Redrinkability and what I find with a lot of beers is first impressions aren't always that good. Um, ooh, excuse me. Um, for me, but I kind of learned to love it once I I go more into it. I guess you could say. Um, I I have a feeling that's how it's going to be with this one. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. The art, like, I wish I could just, can I? Can I, oh, dang it, the sticker's on there too much. I'm like, I want that sticker. Because <laughs> that is a cool ass. Yeah, no, it ain't coming off. But that's kind of one thing that, um, really... I don't know, defines my, my bear, unfortunately, is the selling points. I like anything with that kind of, you know, spooky look to it. That's why I like, you know, the three Floyds, you know, like, they're worth it just for the box art. I mean, it's it's crazy. There was the, uh, the Rogue Brewing. Nice little... A little trophy from it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Just good. It is an all-around solid beer. I don't know what else to put it at. Um, so, for me... As I always rate things and rank things, you know, here I tend to have kind of a scale. Um, I believe I normally rank out a 1 to 10. So, for, and I do it for me and for potentially someone else. Because I know my, you know, tastes aren't, you know, up to standard. Or like they aren't, you know, what someone else might think. So, I would say definitely for me. This is going to come in at a solid 7 out of 10. Um, it's solid. It's it's a good it's a good drink. I do think there is a bit of room for um, improvement. It it tastes like a beer. And I know that that sounds weird cuz it is, but I like things that, you know, have a bit more to them, um, like, for example, last time, the Dank Meme, um, that beer, I believe it was, like, Triptriarch or something, I, I cannot pronounce, you know, um, the brewery to save my life, but I believe it was out of Savoy, Illinois, um, that thing was really just good, I don't know how else to put it, because it combined, like, it, it was a beer. It tastes like a beer, but it had more a um, kind of fruitiness to it. It added something else. Um, same with like a lot of the Three Floyd's beers is that they have that kind of different thing that I like about them. Um, the Alpha King, all-time favorite, the regular one. I made that clear. That is a 10 out of 10 for me. Always will be a 10 out of 10. Um, that I like because it has that almost taste of, like, um, I believe it's pronounced, like, 
uh, I'm going to butcher it because I'm going to say it leche, but I believe it's pronounced lychee. Um, it is a fruit in Asia, and I'm pretty sure that's what they put in it. But it's just those little things in there that just make things different. Um, or beers different that I really enjoy. This one's good. It's like solid. Oh, it's getting a little fruity. Let's get to the bottom. But I don't feel there's really... I'm being skeptical. Or I'm being like, you know harder on it because it is so good I want people to understand that and I wouldn't hot, um, hold it to that high standard you know if I felt it didn't deserve it so the criticism is good but I just think other than that like kind of fruity like almost plum aftertaste to it there really isn't much. It's just a solid beer. It's a beer if you want to drink a beer. Um, it doesn't, as a craft beer, I don't really think it brings anything that's too craft to the table other than just being a solid beer. Like, it is definitely a step up from any, like, you know, something like a Bud Light or any, like, traditional run-of-the-mill um even, like, a Corona, which I consider the best of, like, the cheap beers, um, in my opinion. So, getting to the ranking, as I said, um, definitely, I would say it's a 7 out of 10, um, for me, definitely, on what I like, because it really doesn't have that extra kind of flavor to it. It just kind of is. Um... It does kind of ferment a little once you get, you know, to the bottom of it. Once you get to that finish, which I'm realizing now. Um, but other than that, I would say definitely for other people trying it, I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10. And it warrants that, in my opinion, because it is so solid. It's not what I like, personally. I wish it would have a bit more to it. Um, it. It just really doesn't for me. It doesn't hold up for me like that. But I think for anyone that just wants a beer and they want something that's a step up, they want, you know whatever I paid for this, like, $11 for a six-pack, they want that step up. Um, or I think in a can, it's, like, two ninety nine. It's worth it. I think, um, for the price, they definitely do a good job. They put in, you know, the craft kind of side of it. It's, it's nothing, you know, that's different, really. It's not special, but it's good in every way. It's just solid. Um, let me get to the final kind of judgment here, so to speak. Yeah. Ooh. Wow, that flavor hits at the end. <laughs> it's like, fuck you for saying um, I don't got much flavor. Oh, wow, yeah. It's like toasty. Dang. Um. It's a beer. <laughs> it is a beer. Um. Wow. I would not recommend anyone drink more than one of these. Um. Reason I'm saying that, I mean, it depends on what your intentions are. But I never, I, I like to drink for the, the flavor of it and in the moderation of it. Um, I don't like to get too much of the feels once it gets, you know, up there, because that, it's kind of dangerous. Uh, <laughs> but this one's, this one's hitting. Um, so I would recommend, you know, proceed with caution. Um, definitely on it. It's, wow. 
it's it's a beer. It's got attitude. It's got attitude. And that I I can respect all the way. Um, so that's why I gave it that that rating for everyone. Um, but yeah, um, for me it's still gonna remain out of seven out of ten. I like things with more flavor, and I guess that's just it. So I will see you all next time. Um, I think next time we will try a how do I say a three Floyds maybe. Because I build them up a lot. They're out of Indiana. Um, I'm thinking the Alpha Claws. I still got one of those I'm sitting on. So might as well bust it. You know, Don't know how fresh it's going to be. But we'll try. Um, I'll see you all later. Thanks for stopping in.